Hi everyone, it's Gabriel. I'm here to introduce to you a new 3D printer, which is big, reliable, and most importantly, it has a new and powerful print head. Introducing Fullscale XT Plus. I'm sure you will like it. Now let's take a look. As you can see from here, Fullscale XT Plus has a stunning black finishing only decorated with the logo, giving out a neat look. The four metal chases makes the whole printer more stable while using. Besides, the black finishing looks better on the steel. You can see the heat bed and the print head, as well as the printing process from the open area from the front and the sides. And you can also see the printing process from above. By the way, Fosca XD Plus has a dual extruders. On the front of the printer, you can see the LCD display and the SD card slot as the main control area. And also on the back, you will find the two feeders and the two filament holders, respectively, for the two extruders. The size of Fosco XT Plus is not too big regarding its large build volume of 260 by 260 by 300 mm. It's more than enough to contain a standard football or soaker inside, and it also fits perfectly on a table. So if you are looking for a relatively big desktop 3D printer, XT Plus makes a very good candidate. If you want to know how big the print can be, check the build volume. But what if we want to know how big the printer is? The secret lies in the uh, print head. For this, we will have another clip of video explaining in details uh, the printing precision of Fullscale XT Plus. But now, let's just meet the print head. XT Plus is equipped with two extruders, allowing users to have two colors on the same print. Also, you can use solvable filaments as a port. For example, this PVA simply dissolves through time when you put it in warm water. Meanwhile, the extruders can heat up to 300 degrees centigrade. In terms of 3D printing, every kind of filament has a certain melting point. Therefore, 300 degrees centigrade means the printer can use a wide range of filaments. For instance, commonly used filaments include ABS, PLA, nylon, laywood, laybrick, T-gloss, and PC. As it has dual extruders, you can also use port material like PVA and HIPS. One more thing, Fosgear XT Plus is compatible with other third-party 3mm filaments. The main body of the print head is made of aluminum alloy, which ensures high rigidity and heat dissipation while keeps it as light as possible. And the print head is completed by stainless steel heat brakes and brass nozzles. The structure is designed easy to disassemble. For a better cooling effect, the print head is surrounded by two standard fans and one turbo fan on the rear. With a special cover, the turbo can send wind where it needs to be and establish an all-round cooling system with the other two, so that the material extruded out will become concrete immediately. What's more is that the extruders are connected with the main body by a universal slot so that it can also be compatible with other extruders. It's just like using different lens for one camera. With this universal slot, users can change extruders easily. Thermal control is vital in 3D printing. On XT Plus, besides the print head, there's another thermal unit, which is the heat bed. For some filaments, after being extruded out from the nozzles and getting into a different temperature environment, they would swell and therefore cause warping on the surface of the prints. The most notorious one among them is ABS. To make filaments like ABS usable, we place a heat bed inside the printer. It's responsible for heating prints from the bottom up, warming up the environment to prevent warping. The heat bed consists of two parts, a ceramics glass lies on the top, is highly thermal conductive, physically rigid, and not easy to expand. It won't deform even after long time use, and you can also find such thing in your kitchen, but just don't use hours to cook. Nowadays on the market, a lot of printers are using a breadboard as heat pad, 
such solution is less heat conductive and has a great possibility of deforming when used frequently. There are also many printers who don't even have a heat bed. So uh, printing filaments like ABS is not feasible on them. And even if you try, you'll probably get a thing like this. A silic gel heating panel is placed closely and evenly beneath the glass. Together, they can heat up to 110 degrees centigrade. This temperature covers the requirement of a wide range of filaments on the market. So wrapping would be the last thing to worry you.